new study of dark matter revealed something unbelievable. It turns out that it can penetrate your body and literally turn you into plasma. Moreover, scientists suggest that dark matter has more than once become the cause of global catastrophes and mass extinctions on our planet. And most interestingly, in the relatively near future, this may happen again. Is our species doomed to extinction? What happens if just one micrometer of dark matter gets into your body? What danger does it pose? And what is its importance to all of humanity? If you bring together all the planets, stars, gas, dust, galaxies, and everything else that our universe consists of, you can see that the total of all matter does not converge, but rather expands. The matter we see accumulates, forming a cosmic web. Clusters of galaxies grow to enormous sizes, inside which we can observe the movement of galaxies at the most incredible speeds. This movement provides powerful gravitational effects. But according to scientists, for all this to work, you need five times more matter than what we see. So does this mean there's something else? That is, some matter that we don't see. Thus, in order to explain all these contradictions, scientists introduced the term dark matter. They began to create simulations of vast cosmic proportions and saw an interesting picture. If we take into account only the normal, visible matter of the universe, which modern technologies can detect, Galaxies do not form in all at the way they look in reality, the areas highlighted here in red. But if dark matter is added to the simulation at a ratio of 5 to 1, galaxies behave almost the same way as in real life, the part highlighted in blue and purple. Thus, scientists came to the conclusion that if this matter really exists, then our Milky Way should have a huge halo of dark matter, and part of it passes through our solar system, the Earth, and even our bodies. Every second, billions of particles of dark matter fly through me, you, and several billion other people around the planet. It doesn't interact directly with ordinary matter. Its particles pass through living organisms without colliding with atoms. But there are times when clashes do occur. Thus, a logical question arose. Is such a collision harmful to our health? In July 2019, a team of scientists from Case Western Reserve University, led by one Glenn Starkman, conducted a study to find out if a person can be used as a living detector of dark matter. According to scientists, it turned out that this is not at all safe. They found that dark matter is able to combine with ordinary baryonic matter in clumps, or so-called macros. These clumps scatter in space at hypersonic speeds. The energy of one macro can achieve the same energy as a bullet fired from a 22 caliber rifle. But if you have to choose between death from a rifle or a clot of dark matter, it would be better to give preference to the former. Compared to this mysterious substance, ordinary bullets seem like paintballs. The fact is that the clumps of dark matter are absolutely invisible, and in theory, should be only a few micrometers in size. However, once in the human body, they heat up to 10 million Kelvin, which is 1.73 times the temperature of our sun, after which they transform into an expanding cylinder of plasma. This is enough to burn a small hole through your body. It's unlikely that any of you could withstand such hellish pain and such extreme temperatures. But if a person comes under fire from several of these clots, the body can even be split into separate atoms and completely turn into plasma. But despite the fact that a huge number of dark matter particles pass through the body of every earthling throughout their life, no one has yet died from this. In the entire history of mankind, not a single death from dark matter has ever been recorded, and not a single person has ever been discovered with such holes in their body. It's all about density. 
According to scientists' models and simulations, all galaxies should be shrouded in a huge halo of dark matter. Its density is at its maximum in the center and very low in remote parts of the galaxy. Thus, in the location where we all are now, 25,000 light years from the center of our galaxy, ordinary matter prevails and the amount of dark matter is quite small. If you collect all the dark matter in the solar system up to the orbit of Neptune, you get no more than 10 to the 17th kilograms, something like the mass of a small asteroid. On Earth, the situation is quite different from what we see in interstellar space. The density of the human body is comparable to water, 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. The density of dark matter on Earth, even in the most realistic simulations, is several times lower than 10 to the minus 12th kilograms per cubic meter. If you were to collect all the dark matter located inside all the people on Earth at any given point in time, it would be measured in just nanograms. If you want to know how much dark matter passes through your body during a certain time, you need to multiply only four values. The density of dark matter, the surface area of the person through which dark matter passes, its speed, and the length of time. For example, a second, a year, or an entire human life, which is on average about 80 years. The calculation will take only a minute. The density of dark matter on Earth is approximately 10 to the minus 12 kilograms per cubic meter. The surface area of a person is 1.7 square meters. Since dark matter can come from a random angle, we can estimate the area intersected by dark matter at about 0.6 square meters. Our solar system orbits around the center of our galaxy at a speed of about 200 kilometers per second. But with respect to dark matter, this movement should be faster, closer to 350 kilometers per second. This means that relative to the Earth, dark matter moves at a speed on the order of 400 kilometers per second. Thus, at any given moment in time, there are about 10 to the minus 22nd kilograms of dark matter inside of you. However, a much greater amount of it constantly passes through you. For every second, about 2.5 times 10 to the minus 22nd kilograms of dark matter. Each year, about 10 to the minus 8th kilograms. In 80 years, about 1 milligram of dark matter will pass through a human being. As you know, this small amount does not create any noticeable consequences. Thus, we see a kind of paradox. In order to at least slightly raise the veil of secrecy of the universe, we need to detect the dark matter, thereby proving its existence in practice. Due to the fact that its density on Earth is quite low, it's incredibly difficult to do this. But if the density of dark matter were much higher, it would be simply impossible to catch it. About 10 octillion, that's 10 times 10 to the 48th power of the particles that make up the human body stick together thanks to electromagnetic, gravitational, and nuclear forces. If all these particles are suddenly replaced by dark matter, these forces that hold the particles of our body together will simply stop working. Human organs, cells, molecules, and atoms will instantly decay into the smallest particles and fly apart in different directions at a speed of 9,842 feet per second or 3,000 meters per second. Simply put, I would have evaporated and ceased to exist at the atomic level and you would not have seen this video. It's interesting to note that the speed of these particles will not be enough to overcome Earth's gravity. So the particles my body once consisted of will continue to float around our planet for quite some time. All this sounds a little crazy, and I'm not completely sure of the veracity of the latter fact, but I still have something incredibly important to tell you. Harvard University physicists Lisa Randall and Matthew Reese believe that dark matter could have been an indirect cause of global catastrophes in the past. And 
it could happen again. According to the scientists, dark matter could have been the cause of the extinction of the dinosaurs. 66 million years ago, a dense disk of dark matter the size of a small planet knocked out a comet from the Oort cloud, which subsequently caused the death of giant terrestrial dinosaurs. But more importantly, it's been proposed that dark matter has led to mass extinctions more than once. Geophysicist Michael Rampino believes that about once every 26 to 30 million years, the solar system passes through a dense disk of dark matter. As a result, a fairly large amount of this mysterious substance permeates the crust of our planet and settles into the Earth's core. Clumps of this dark matter become more and more dense, after which the particles destroy each other, which in turn heats the Earth's core. This leads to magma rising closer to the surface, provoking destructive volcanic eruptions and disturbing the continents. As a result, mass extinctions of species occur every 26 million years, which is accompanied by the collapse or creation of a supercontinent. It's possible that the next time, our species will be at the risk of extinction. There's also an opinion that the Earth has already received a significantly large dose of dark matter recently, when, in 2018, a whole hurricane of dark matter hit our planet. Chirin O'Hare from the University of Zaragoza described this in her study. According to her, the fragments of a dwarf galaxy crashed into the Milky Way, which triggered the appearance of a large stream of dark matter, S1, which swept across the solar system directly towards the Earth. Scientists hoped that, for the first time in history, special detectors would be able to detect dark matter. But this did not happen. Indeed, when they designed these detectors, many errors were made. But this doesn't mean that the hurricane did not pass through us. Researchers are sure that a huge stream of dark energy still reached the Earth. At first, it caused a little panic in academia, but later it was revealed that such a hurricane is no threat to our lives at all, like macro bullets from dark matter. But what if scientists are wrong? I can only say one thing about this. Until scientists can accurately detect the real particles of dark matter, all theories remain only guesses and assumptions. However, the opportunities and dangers that lie behind the mysterious substance are simply colossal. Once macros, large clumps of dark matter that I mentioned earlier, are fully identified and understood, this could create a new, super devastating weapon of mass destruction. I'm afraid to even imagine how massive, or vice versa, a full understanding of dark matter might solve global problems that humanity has been struggling with for more than a century. What do you think about this, my friends? Let's discuss it in the comments. If you liked my video, give it a thumbs up and click on the bell to receive notifications for new episodes. And subscribe to the channel if for some unthinkable reason you haven't done so yet. Riddle is here with you, as always. Until next time.